So Terrence, Bud Crawford, and Bo Mack came out stating that the fight between Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford will happen soon. And by soon, he means sooner than people think. And that's great for the sport of boxing because we know and history showed us time and time again that a lot of fights, when they manorate, fighters tend to lose on either side. A great example, a fight that just took place, Anthony Joshua versus Ruiz. You know, Ruiz pulled off the upset and messed up the money flow for Deontay Wilder versus Anthony Joshua fight. That was a huge mega fight. Now, people don't even believe in Anthony Joshua anymore. I mean, if Ruiz could knock you out, Wilder will definitely put you in a coma. However, in the heavyweight division, more upsets are likely to happen than lower rate divisions because one punch could really change the fight. But at the welterweight division, I feel like Crawford and Errol Spence really separated themselves from all the other welterweights. I just don't see Keith Thurman, Sean Porter, and even Danny Garcia threatened to be either one. I just believe that they, they just that much better. I feel like they're on an elite level while fighters of the welterweight division either B or A level fighters and that's no problem for Crawford or Errol Spence. So me personally, I feel like Errol Spence versus Terrence Crawford is a fourth quarter fight. Uh, it's like the end of the tournament type of fight. It's like the Super Bowl of boxing. And the reason I feel that way is because this is our Leonard versus Hearn. This is our Leonard versus Hagler. So this fight deserves all the shine that it's going to get. So why not let it build? But at the same time, I would not be complaining if it happens or it takes place tomorrow. Like I'd be there to watch it and support it. But like I said, this fight is really like the finals because once a winner is declared... Crawford is already pound for pound number one. Errol Spence is already number one in the welterweight division. He's a boogeyman. So when you got these two guys, when they clash, the winner is definitely number one at the welterweight division. And whoever they fight after wouldn't matter anymore because they will be such a favorite to win. But if throughout the lead up to the fight between Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence, they clear the welterweight division then fight each other then they done built the fight to its maximum potential and then if Errol Spence wins he move up and wait and if Terrence Crawford win he could do the same move up and wait or decide to stay at his own weight which is at 147 because he's not as big as Earl so uh, Bob Arum already stated that you know if Errol Spence want to make real money it's not the Sean Porter fight because Errol Spence versus Sean Porter, even though it's a unification, Sean Porter style and popularity ain't gonna help the case for a pay-per-view. But because Danny Garcia versus Mikey Garcia just landed on pay-per-view, and we already know Errol Spence beat Mikey and Danny Garcia ducking the hell out of Errol Spence. Errol Spence over here thinking like, I beat the crap out of Mikey Garcia and he out here getting a pay-per-view fight and I'm fighting on free TV and obviously if you fight on pay-per-view you most likely make more money so Errol Spence definitely was not feeling that so because his fight mean more to the welterweight division then he felt he should have his fight on pay-per-view too that's why they pushed the fight back and they negotiating a fight between Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford. But like I said, in a perfect world, you know, Errol Spence fights Keith Thurman next. And Terrence Crawford gets the winner of Mikey versus Danny Garcia. Then they meet up after that. Because the welterweight, the rest of the welterweight division gets what they want if Terrence Crawford fights Errol Spence. They all been avoiding them two, trying to throw them against each other as soon as they can. And nothing wrong with that, but they not wanted to step in the ring with them guys. So they get what they want and maneuver and 
fight each other and just duck Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford. And while they taking credit away from them two, talking about Keith Thurman, he over here saying he number one. Danny Garcia talking about he could have did the same thing, Errol Spence and more. He could have knocked out Mikey Garcia. And I'm like, okay, well, you got your fight with Mikey Garcia. Now we'll see if you actually can win the fight, let alone knock him out. Because now you got to live up to a lot of things. Dominated Mikey. Knocking out Mikey And you better not lose to Mikey Or have a split decision or a close fight But either way They cannot take the shine From Crawford versus Errol Spence If they do fight And the winner of that fight Cannot be denied You know We've seen how Sean Porter is perceived now Like he was ducking Errol Spence for the longest. Now, after he comes out and says all the right things for the belt up to the fight, people's like, they don't even believe him no more. It's like, okay, whatever, man. Just get your ass whooped, take the check, and go home. Like, that's just how people feel. Like, they already feel like it's just an automatic L. Because he already showed that he feared Errol Spence. That he felt like he cannot be Errol Spence. So, when you just have... Your tone all changed all of a sudden. People just ain't gonna believe that. Like, it just came out of nowhere. It's just a random. Like I said, keep the same energy. He did not have the same energy before. He always talked about he had his attention somewhere else, even though Errol Spence had his belt the whole time. You know, Crawford, in the meantime, he talking about he never gonna be ready for Errol Spence. It's been five years and the man ain't even got ready yet. I don't know what he getting ready for. Uh, World War Three or something, but the man ain't trying to step in the ring with Errol. Terrence Crawford, you can make the same case for him. I mean, Danny talking all that crap, but he won't step in the ring with a guy. Mikey already said he don't like Crawford style, even though he uh, moves more than Crawford does. You got Sean Porter and Keith Thurman trying to take credit away from Terrence Crawford, but like I said, they were not share the ring with a man because they don't want them problems so like i said you know to me if the fight doesn't happen next as long crawford and terrence crawford fight the best in the division till they meet i got no problem with that if they fight next after errol spence beat sean porter and maybe terrence crawford beats a guy like kel brook then that's also a great fight like i said like it won't matter to me i just hope that before they meet, in my opinion, they should clear the division, then meet up because, man, they're not going to, or they ain't finna get beat by nobody at the welterweight division. That's just my opinion. I mean, obviously, boxing is the theory of the unexpected, but y'all better expect Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford to smoke the welterweight division before fighting each other. If that's the path they choose to take, you know, and like I said, Subscribe below if you're trying to get smart about it, and if you're trying to get dumb about it, second, don't listen to these casual ass fans. And peace, we out of here.